guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Today we have a special video. We're going to be checking a food truck, seeing exactly what kind of power he needs. Um, I have, let's flip this around. As you can see right here, this is his setup right here. He has two Westinghouse 9500 that goes into two separate inlet. So you have a 50 amp inlet and another 50 amp inlet over here that allows him to run the entire unit. What we're going to do is try to use one generator instead of two open frame, very loud generator. You know, these are very loud. So we're going to try to use just one. What I have lined up today, we have the Honda 7000, the Power Horse 7500. We have a Gen Max 9000, the Predator 9500, the Gen Max 10.5, this is the Tri-Fuel, and the big boy over here, the Duramax 16,000 watt generator. We're going to see exactly what he needs. He don't really know his total consumption yet, so we're going to try to find that out with this generator. I probably won't test all of them. I will start with the 75 or the 7000 Honda. The Honda does not have the 50 amp plug. It just has the 30. So that's going to be a problem because I don't have the adapter for that one. So I thought I did end up not having it. But if you have a food truck and you know you're running off backup power or generator power, it's very important that you can run your entire trailer. I like to keep them about 80%. That's where I always recommend my customer run right around 80% of your uh, complete load. So you don't want to go at 100 if in case you forget something and add something else, you have enough power to uh, make that transition. Let's start with the Power Horse 7500 and see what we can get. Hopefully we don't need a 16,000 watt. <laughs> Hopefully we don't need the 16,000. The 10.5, I think that's going to do it all. But let's find out. Let's start. Let's start with the 75. And another complaint is these two are just way too loud. Okay, so before we turn the 9500 9, Westinghouse on, let's do a base. We're sitting right at 52 dBs. So that's our base decibel, 52. Let's fire this thing up. You won't need the adapter for these. You're going to plug them straight like how you would set them up. Start them. I want to get the decibel reading from right here. Right about 78, 79 dB. That's from the uh, door where all the customers are located. About 79 dB. Turn on your stuff. AC, everything. Turn on all the blenders. We'll get an idea of. Uh... So we have a deep freezer, fridge. AC, coffee machines, grinder, blenders, and what's that over there? Ice shave oh, machine. ice shave machine. Yeah. The shave dice. Oh, there's another cooler down there. Yeah, got okay, didn't see that. We got all the way up to 80 with this thing running. 80 decibels. Standing here right now, I can't even hear myself. Okay, so you guys heard how the Westinghouse 9500 sound. We have now the Power Horse 7500 set up. I'm using an adapter because it only has one 50 amp plug. So we're in the 50 amp plug, 
comes down to two, so we can power, so we can power both legs because this one has two 50 amp inlet boxes. So let's get it started and see what we get. Oh. I have to think about it. Okay, so this is the uh, 7500, probably one of the quietest generators that I do have. So it's not even on its quietest setting right now. So um, just running. We at 59. So we're gonna go back inside and turn everything on. See if we overloaded this 7500 running both legs. Usually, at an event, I would run this generator at the other side just to keep the noise even lower. But since we're recording, I'll put it right here. It's going to turn on the AC, the fridge, the dip fridge, the freezer, the espresso machine, the ice shave, all that stuff. Okay, I think we lost power. Okay. So we overloaded the uh, 75 right off the bat. That's exactly what we, we want to see. So let's go ahead and switch generator. I'm not even going to try again. So 7500, didn't do it. I shaved, turned it off. The shaved ice machine. All right, so we have the Gen Max 9000. Okay, so let's try the Gen Max 9000 and see if it can handle this load. Seventy-five dBs. So we have the cooler, coffee machine, the AC. All right guys, the simple fact that we don't have the 30 amp adapter, um, I can't do the 9500. The 9000 had a hard time. The 9500, they put out about the same power, but this one does not have a 50 amp plug, so I'm not even gonna waste my time and try it. We're gonna go straight to the Gen Max 10.5. Let's see if this can handle it. Right about 71 dB, and that's just the AC and all the coolers. Right about 8,000 watts. Man, this this wood truck pulls a lot of power. Yeah. But he just overloaded the 10 at 8,000. So really it cut off when I turned both of the grinders on. Oh. I had the ice save machine and the espresso machine on already. Oh, so you had everything on. I had everything on. And then you just turned on the two grinders. Right, the two grinders made the difference. So is there anything you can substitute like like you don't need everything and yeah yeah like if i don't have the ice shape machine on it works okay now the espresso machine is going to be on every day of course yeah um but like i say with the espresso machine on and just to shave ice it was good okay try it again and i don't turn that stuff all right on. let's see okay so with the blenders 
the AC, all the fridge, the espresso machine, it works just fine. It's the shaved ice machine that trips it. Alright guys, so the 10.5 does handle it. It gets all the way up to about, I would say, 80%, which is right where we want to be, but without the shaved ice. Once he turns his shaved ice machine on, that takes it over the limit. So the 10.5 does handle it. Alright, so we tried the 10.5. I need two 10.5s or two 9s to run this setup. It, it, it's a powerhouse, alright? It needs a lot of power. This one does have the two... 50 amp plugs, so it wouldn't be a problem. Let's just get it started and see what we can do. Let me turn the fuel on. Start her up. Let it warm up a little bit. Let's get a DB. Right about 69, 69 dBs just uh, idling. Let's turn that power on. And I'm doing all this test in the eco mode just to show you guys that you can uh, do it in low idle or eco mode. All right, we're going right about 2400. Go ahead and turn everything on. Well, we have 250 amp plugs in here. We got the AC three. Let's go inside and see what we have running. Both grinders. Two blenders, we got the espresso machine, we got the shaved ice running, we got the mini fridge running, we got the freezer running, we got the AC running, and the big fridge. And the mini split, so there you 116, have you're actually running at 50%. All right, guys, they have it. So the 16,000, um, it does it with no problem. It's right about 50, 60 percent, and we never got over 75 dBs. Um, it really does make a huge difference. With two 10.5s, I see no issue. We'll probably have both of them at 50 percent, but the cost at this one right here, with the cost, it really does make sense to um, run this one with the. Uh, 16,000 with everything running including the shaved ice and all it runs right about 50 60 percent so this thing's just an absolutely uh, powerful generator um, 16,000 13,000 running so it shouldn't be an issue with this one but it's just the size it's a big generator over here the 10.5 a little smaller so we had to use the adapter for the two inlets we have to use the adapter to get that 250 amp running. So it is right here. It's a coffee food truck. What's up, everybody? This is Raphael with the Drip Coffee Shop. We originated in Anchorage, Alaska, and just moved down recently to the Houston area. 
We sell the finest coffee, smoothies, flavor infused energy drinks, shaved ice, and much more. We are mobile, so give us a follow at the drip AK to find out what will be near you. And if you need any generators or any kind of attachments for them, look no further than my man Gavin. They'll get you taken care of. All right, guys. Well, thanks for this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. We're going to close this one out. Thanks, Peace. And have a good day. Bye.